Hello and welcome to another wonderful morning. Today we're going to be looking at the summary of the Life Changer novel. And we are going to be looking at some likely questions that we're going to be getting from this Life Changer novel. So this is the novel summarized in just uh, like 20 pages with the most likely questions there. So I'm going to start reading them out and we're going to be looking at some likely questions. Take notes. Uh, this is the CD for your um, brochure and uh, and syllables. So once you register for JAM, they will give you this CD. So slot it into your system. You can check your syllables there. You can also get to our website to check your syllables. Your websites are already there. Your syllables, we've already put them in PDF format. This is syllables. So click here and get your syllables. If you're looking for the summary of the life changer, this is where you click. Once you click here, you can download the life changer uh, summary. This is our website, educateafrican.com. Once you get there, you will learn a whole lot. All your courses, government, mathematics, all of them are treated there. And that is the platform we are using to learn. Educateafrican.com. You can click here to get to our YouTube. You can call us for our flash that has our, uh, all our lectures. Can download our CBT app both for computer and for Android. So everything you need is there. So this summary I'm giving you now, the summary is already on our website. Once you get to our website, you see here, click on Life Changer Summary, you get it downloaded and you can use it. Okay, so let's start immediately the summary of Life Changer. So uh, we are starting with number one. So we have all the uh, we are starting with chapter one. We have all the chapters. We've worked on all the chapters. So, and we'll, like I said before, we'll continue to improve this uh, novel, continue to improve our summary on it. And if you go to our website every uh, new day, you're going to be seeing a totally different summary and well organized because we are working on it, constantly removing things that are not necessary. And putting only things that are necessary so that once you read this summary, you can be able to answer your questions effectively. So, chapter one opens up with discussion among Umi's children. So, I'm going to be making some corrections as I'm reading. So, among Umi's children, okay. Bint is the last born, is one, is one narrating our experience in school. So, you have to know that Bint is Umi's. Uh, is the last born and narrating her experience in school with a teacher. So um, that they were discussing about French language. Okay. So Tima, who, who was the second child alongside Jamila, decided to listen at being who happened to be the last child narrating the story. So we have Tema and we have Jamila listening to what Bint was saying. Okay. The Omi enters the room and while they are all enjoying their conversation, uh, Omar, who is Omi's first child, came in and announced his admission with the word, I made it from, I made it, okay? So those are the starting parts of the novel. We need to take note of that. So we started with discussion that was led by Bint, last child, yeah, about his uh, about uh, uh, French class, and then Tima, the second child, and Jamila, third child, listening to Bint while uh, she was narrating the story, and uh, Omar who is the last and the first child came in and announced his admission with the word, I made it, okay. So Omar has just been offered admission to study law at the Congo campus of Ahmad Bello University, sorry, okay. So coincidentally, I actually did my master's in Ahmad Bello University. So I know these, uh, this Congo campus, the Congo campus is mainly for people that are in the arts department. I was in engineering, so I was actually in Akenzwa Hostel for that's where the master students have their lodge. And um, 
I mean, Samaru. Samaru is the main campus where yeah, uh, science students are. Okay, so let's go on. So everyone is happy because of uh, Omar's admission. But Omar has got a request to make, which is that no one tells his father about the admission before himself. So he could get a smartphone his father promised to give him if he secures admission, okay? Now the father decides to leave the room as it is getting stuffy. The family, I mean, the family decides to leave the room as it's getting stuffy due to lack of power supply for two days. So for two days, uh, there has not been power supply and the room is stuffy, so they decide to leave the room. Then why they decide to go outside, being demand for Zobo, which in response to that, Thomas said he could buy everyone Zobo, but Tema refused to apply it, claiming that Omar is not to be trusted with money. Okay, then Uma cut off, cut short the argument between her children by offering to pay for the sobo. So Umi let her pay for the sobo. So while the, the happy mother with her children sat under the mango tree with Tema, Tema sent for to fetch the sobo for everyone. So being demanded, Umi tell them a story, okay? So Umi hearing this, he began to think about the kind of story. So sorry about the errors in the, in the English. It was actually done my type, by my type. So that's why I'm taking out time to also make correction. As we go. So I'm gonna be making corrections to this. Uh, the corrected version is what I'm going to be uploading to the uh, to our website. So once you check it out, maybe two hours after this class, it should be a better uh, write up. Okay. So she decides to begin the story by asking Omar how he went about getting his admission. Okay. In response to that, Omar showed how hardworking he went to get a great to get a good grade, and I claim some wonderful feats to himself by saying, "You see, mom." Okay, so Omar was trying to make mommy Omi know that he really worked hard in order to get those grades. Okay, finding in the cloud. After I pass this, Charlie trying to explain how hardworking he was. He was getting. So, this self appraiser is met with a church sister. So, you, you can see as we are reading now, you're getting to know the people in the, uh, in the family, Umi, the children, Omar. Sima, the immediate, immediate uh, younger sister to Omar. So Omar did not expect to show to show that he felt hurt. Okay, so he did not expect to show that he felt hurt by what his sister Tima said. Okay, Tima gets the message and stops uh, counting Omar. Okay. So after this, Omar narrates how the whole examination process went from SSC to obtaining JAM, turning of JAM form and writing the JAM examination. He also tells his mother how his friend told him to go and check. Told him to go and check JAM caps for admission status. Okay, you know, this is the normal procedure after checking admission, you need to go to CAPS to check your admission status. So you see this, uh, this novel is actually mirroring what you, you would see naturally or normally for students in Nigeria. So you can easily relate it when you're reading it, especially if you've written down before this year and you're trying to write again, you can relate with what the story is talking about again. So he told him to go and check the jump cows for admission status. It takes him two days to get this done due to lack of smartphone. You know, 
So Jam is going to ask you, what was the reason why Omar told the family not to tell the father that he wants to be the person that will get the news, to break the news to the father? So you see that you should be able to know it because he wants to get a smartphone. So the father had earlier promised a smartphone for him. Okay. So because of lack of smartphone, just to check the caps took him two days, two days, okay? So because of lack of smartphone, and he added that his mother should tell his father about this, which is definitely one of the reasons he needs a smartphone. So he needs a smartphone in order for him to be checking stuffs, admission stops online, okay? His mother promised to tell the father when he returns from work. Omi decides to ask Omar if he knows the implication of the admission and he never wastes time in replying. Omar says, it means I have arrived, okay? It means I'm one of the intelligentsia. But Omi looked at him and said, so Omi looked at him and said, listen, my son, this admission is a life changer. Uh, Omar, does not seem to understand this statement by his mother, but no one can tell that Omi is about to begin her storytelling from here. Okay, so you can now understand this chapter one uh, is about Omar's admission. So this admission is gonna be an introduction into the story that Omi is gonna tell them about. So in this chapter one, we can pick out some important things and I'm going to highlight those important things here. So I'm going to say important, likely questions from chapter one. Okay, so that's what we're going to be looking at now. So what are the likely questions that you're going to be having from these Chapter one, what are the likely questions? Okay, so let's look at the likely questions that you'll be having from chapter one. So by so doing, we are gonna do this for all the chapters and once we are done, we should be able to smash the whole 10 questions in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in from uh, life changing. Please put your mic on mute so that you will not be disturbing us, okay? So let me go through this summary of chapter one again. And after the summary, we'll not pick out this question. So the chapter opens up with discussion among Umi's children, okay? Uh, so she was actually eavesdropping. So I'm gonna put this like this. So that is how the chapter started. So Bint, the last born, is one narrating her experience in school with the teacher. So Bint is the last born. So I'm going to, every important aspect of this, I'm going to be holding it so that you take note. So this chapter started with discussion by Omi's children, which she actually she was paying attention secretly to. Okay. So Bint was telling them about So they, uh, it, 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 she actually had a problem with one of her teacher about her understanding of French language. Okay. So that was how the, the discussion started. But when And Tima, who was the second child along Jamila, the third child. Okay, so we have other characters here Tima and Jamila. So the two of them listen to what the last child, Bint, 
was narrating, okay? So take note that Bint is the last one. And take note that Tima is the second child. So immediately after Omar, that is Tima, before Jamila, then the last one is Bint. So take note of all this. Then Umi then enters the room while they are all enjoying their conversation. Then Omar being Umi's first child. So Omar is Umi's first child. So take note of that. He came in and announced his admission with the word I made it. So he came in, announced his admission. So very, very important. And he did that with the word I made it. So if Jamba asks you, uh, the word I made it was used by Omar indicating that he has admission, okay. So I made it. Yeah, by cause of his admission, okay, take note of that. So let's continue. So we are in chapter one. Once we are done with chapter one, we can Look at chapter. Yeah, yeah, all done. So I'm gonna put this in such a way that you can easily get to it and look at Omar's admission. So take note. Discussing about uh, the issue of uh, French language by Bing, the last one, and she was uh, he was telling Tima and Jamila and uh, Omar walked in, announcing his admission by saying, I made it. Okay, so let's move forward. So Omar has just been offered admission to study law. So what course, what course, and in which campus in ABU area is it gonna be? So he has been offered admission to study law and he's gonna be studying that law in the Congo campus. Like I told you, I did my master's in ABU area. I studied chemical engineering and I stayed in the Samaru campus. That's where engineering students stay. Congo is where uh, our students stay. And that's where he's gonna be doing for. So take note, so Jump is gonna ask you, which university offered Omar's admission? Which university? offered Omar's admission. So which university? So it's actually university. Mm -hmm. Amadou. Oh, sorry. Amadou Bello University. So study law. So that was uh, Omar's admission. Okay. So that is the school that gave him admission to study law. Okay, let's continue again. So everyone is happy about what had happened. Once you get admission in a family, everyone, member of the family is happy with you. So special. Now, but Uma has got a request. So Uma made a request. So what was this request about? Uma made a request, which is that no one tells his dad about the admission before himself, so he could get a smartphone. So they don't want, he didn't want somebody to tell the father before himself. So that because he needs a smartphone, which we're gonna find the reasons why he needed smartphone. So this smartphone was promised by his father. So he could get smartphone, his father promised, promised him if he secures admission, promised him if, if he secures admission to study law which was the father dream field. So law was actually what the father wanted him to study. Okay, so now that he has gotten law, 
as a course to study. He wants to also use that opportunity and be able to get the smartphone, okay? Now, the family decides to leave the room as it is getting stuffy. So they decide to leave the room as it's getting stuffy to, due to lack of power for two days, okay? So what is Homer's um, father's dream field of study? So we should say that, uh, The dream field uh, is law. So he gets a smart phone for securing the army. Okay, so he gets this because he has secured the admission, he gets to get a smartphone. Okay, so let's continue. So why they decided to go outside now, why are they going outside? Because the room is stuffy, there has not been light for two days. So why they have decided to go outside? Bint demanded for school. This is going to be demanded, not demand, for Zobo. Well, most of us know what Zobo is. Okay. Which, in response to that, Omar said he could buy everyone. Okay. So, Omar, being the person that has gotten the admission, is excited, he's happy, so he promises to get every, everyone Zobo. But Tama refused to ob oblige, claiming that Omar is not to be trusted with money. So Omar is not to be trusted with money. So Umi cut short the argument between our children by offering to pay for the Zobo. So Umi finally decides to pay for the Zobo for them. So let's continue. So while the happy, so why was the room stuffy? Why was the room stuffy? So they, they decided to leave the room because it was stuffy due to lack of light for Two days. Okay. So I'm going to put lack of power, which should have been the right word, not like lack of power for two days. Okay. So that is the reason why they left the room. Okay. So why they were happy, the mom now decides to pay for the Zobo, being the man who me. That is the mother tells them a story. So Bint now, on the last child, demanded that the mother tells them a story. Then Umi hearing this began to think about the kind of story relevant to such an occasion. So the occasion that they were talking about is Omar's admission. So he wanted to give them a story that relates to the occasion that is being analyzed. Okay. On this, considering such an occasion as this, as this. Considering the fact that her first child, Omar, has just gained, has just gained admission into university, which is different environment altogether. So the university environment is gonna introduce Omar to a different environment altogether. So she decides to begin a story by asking Omar how he went about getting his admission. So that was how she started the story by asking Omar. So in response, Omar showed how hardworking he was to get good grades, to get good grades, and acclaim some wonderful feats to himself by saying, you see, mom, 
this is always a, there is always a silver lining in the crowd. After I pass SSC, by no means a small thing. Okay. So this silver, as he was trying to praise himself while explaining how he went about getting his admission, uh, this self appraisal was actually met with, with sharp cuts from Sima. So you should know the person that interjected while he was trying to praise himself. I did a whole lot in trying to get admission. So his immediate younger sister. So Tima is directly younger to Omar to take note. So in the hierarchy now, you'll be talking about um, so Omi's child. Omi's uh, children. So you talk about armor, then uh, Timur, then uh, Jamila, then last one, paint. So take note. Okay, let's continue. So Uma did not hesitate to show how he felt that he felt hurt by what his sister Tima said. So Tima gets the message and stopped touting. After this, Omar narrates how the whole examination process went from SSE to obtaining of jam form and writing the examination. He also tells his mother how his friend, how his friend told him to go and check the jam caps for his admission status. He take, takes him, Took him two days, okay. So to check this, actually took him two days. So why did just taking capture take two days to get this done due to lack of smartphone? So it took him two days to just check the caps because of lack of smartphone. Okay, and he added that this he added that his mother should tell his father about this, which is definitely one of the reasons he needs a smartphone okay so take note his mother promised to tell the father when he returns from work omi decides to ask omar if he knows the implication of the admission and he never wasted time in replying omar said it means i have arrived it means i am one of the intelligentsia but Omi looked at him and said, listen, my son, this admission is a life changer. Okay, you can see, this is where the name of this uh, novel, Life Changer, came from. So I'm going to put this in capital letter so that you know that it is actually in chapter one when Omi was trying to make Omar, the first son, understand how important getting an admission is. So that's why I said it's a life changer. So the word, the, 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 the topic, the, the title of the book actually comes from this very passage. So Omar does not seem to understand this statement by his mother, but no one can tell that Omi is about to begin her storytelling from here. So so this this issue of the son, Omar, getting admission was what actually inspired the story of her own life, Omi's own life, okay? And that is what we're going to be seeing from subsequent chapters. Okay, so being able to uh, critically summarize chapter one, I've gotten some interesting questions. So I made it was the word that Omar used to announce his admission while the sisters, we are having a discussion so the chapter actually started with discussion, discussion by Omi's children. Started by Bint. So Bint, the last child. So that's how the the chapter started. So discussion by Umi's children that was started by being the last child. So I made it 
was the uh, acclamation that uh, Omar made because of his admission. So this admission was actually at the Ahmad Bello University at Congo campus to study law, and which was actually the dream field. And because of that, uh, Omar hopes to get a smartphone for securing this admission from the dad. So as they are doing this discussion, they decided to leave the room because it was stuffy due to lack of power for two days. So in this uh, passage, we also understood that Omi has the following children, Omar, Tima, Jamila, and Bint, according to this order. Okay. So, uh, so finally, before we round up, up, so these are the children. So, so the life changer title, very important came from this chapter as this admission by Omar was important and it inspired the story by Omi. Okay, so this is the final thing. So the title Life Changer actually came about when uh, Omi was trying to explain how important the admission that Omar, the first son, has gotten. So from there, he, she, she then started telling her own story. Okay. So in the subsequent chapters, we are going to look at those stories, okay? So this is a detailed analogy of this chapter. And you can see I've underlined the important ones. And down here, I've also taken note of the likely questions that you're going to be getting from chapter one. And that's how we're going to be doing this. Maybe every Saturday, we'll be able to analyze so that we can get all the possible questions we'll get ready for our exams, okay? All these novel, these are uh, analysis that I'm going to be doing. You're going to see them on our website, educatorafricans.com. Once you go to this website, click on this life changer summary here. You're going to get this latest, my latest work on the summary. So as I'm summarizing, I'm putting them up. So this one I've done, I'll put it there immediately. Then by next Saturday again, when you go there, you're going to see an updated version of it. While we are doing this, we want you to get all the English text, all the English you know, problems for the 10 questions from your literature, from English, the life changer novel. We are supposed to smash it 10 over 10. Because I want you to get maximum points in English. You are supposed to score in English 100 over 100. Like I said, what we are looking at for our jump is 300 and above. So you have to work with us, follow what we are doing. That's the only way you can get this 100 over 100 in your English so that you can make the mark of 300 in your jam and in your work you're supposed to have 90 words okay so this is where we're going to be signing out i hope all of you have registered on our website like i said from next month all lectures will be taken from this website because we are stuffing it with everything that you need so Bucci, did you understand is it clear the the, the summary that we did chama Yes, sir. Okay. So you can see the way we underline the most important things. And we also highlighted on some likely questions. So blessing, was it clear? Blessing, was it clear? Blessing, are you there? Okay. Okay. Shola, a blessing. You have to unmute yourself if you want to talk so that I can hear you. Okay, so um, thank you. God bless you. See you when I see you.